one of the believer's redemption packages, is divine protection and strength. We saw how God protected the children of Israel, from Egypt to the Promised Land. He didn't only protect them from their human enemies, but also from natural phenomena, like hazardous weather conditions. For instance, during the day, He shades them from the scotching sun with clouds. And in the night, He gives them light with pillars of fire. To secure them from any negative events. We may not go into a discussion, on the physical aspects of His protections, over Israel against their enemies. And how He fought all their battles and defeated all that opposed them. Because it has been very common knowledge. By virtually everyone should have been acquainted with. Till now, God is still in the business of securing, and strengthening His people. He has not ceased to be concerned, about the security of His children. However, like with the Israelites, there are still conditions to be met, if one must enjoy divine protection. You can only be sure of His protection, when you are at His will. And where He wants you to be, His secret place, although, God graciously extends His divine protection, to all of His creations many times. But prominent in his mind, has always been his lovers. He even says, that a day is coming, when his protection will be available, only to those who truly are serving him. The Bible went further, in this regard to say that, eyes have not seen either has it entered the mind of man, what God has prepared as a reward, to those who love him. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. In his packages for his lovers, divine guidance and protection are paramount. He says that no weapons formed against them shall prosper, Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. It also includes that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. Any weapons you know or can think of. Even unconventional weapons like spells. Enchantments magic recitations are not left out. He says, it won't have effects on his people either. Number chapter 23 verse 23. But all these are based on, certain criteria and conditions. God is ever ready, willing, and well able to protect all whose faith, and living qualify them for his protection. And he has assured all his children of it. If they can be diligent and dutiful in keeping to their own sides of the covenant. It says, Psalms 91 verse 1 to 2. He that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the protection of the Almighty. See how it puts it. Psalms 91 verse 1 to 2. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Now the question is, what is the secret place of the Most High? As mentioned in the text. And, where is the secret place of the Most High located? And what does it take to dwell there? Because it says that, dwelling there is what entitles one, of his supper protection. Now, where is this secret place that enjoys maximum divine protection? This secret place of the Most High was aptly captured, and described in the scriptures. As wherever God's word and interests are placed topmost, and made a priority. Where obedience to divine instruction, is given priority. In the determination of choice, action, inaction, or in decision making. It is a scene or scenario, where God's word and instructions, are obeyed completely and promptly. It is where God's interests are given priority, over every other thing. Where righteousness and godliness are the watchwords. Psalm 1 verse 1 to 2, captures and describes the life and living in the secret place of the Most High this way. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditates day and night. That is the description of the secret place of the Most High. God's laws and words, are studied and meditated upon, day and night, so as to keep them and be guided by them, in his secret place. There is no room for proclivity for sin, or corruptive tendencies. The law of God, is the delight of everyone in his secret place. Dwelling there, therefore, means patterning your life, as a matter of lifestyle in God. Not walking in the counsel of the ungodly. 
nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scornful, but been always delighted is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, you meditate day and night. That is the lifestyle in God's secret place, and how to live in his secret place. You live your life daily with the purpose of pleasing God, working and walking in obedience to every divine principle, guidance, guidelines, and instructions of God. It also includes constant closeness to God through prayers and study of the word. It also includes loving God with proofs of acts of kindness, love for one another, and most important kingdom advancement endeavors, particularly soul winning. That is how to dwell in the secret place of the most high abound in his protection. And in such a state, God makes your protection his priority because you had first made him your priority. This is in line with his word in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 30, where God says that he would only honor them that honor him and lightly esteem those who despise him. To be understood also is that this dwelling in the secret place of the most high for security has to do with present dwelling, not for those who dwelt but are no longer dwelling or for those who are still contemplating going to dwell. It has to be a present state. God does not deal with the past, nor count one's past either for or against him, but only the present state. This means, if you have been outside God's protection, owing to you living outside his secret place, you can still make a choice to return to his secret place. And it has to be at present. It has to be now. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2, that now is the accepted time. Behold now is the day of salvation. So every recognizable action by God has to be prompt. No delays, no procrastination, or the opportunity may be missed. Now, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come unto you this hour with a mouthful of thanksgiving and a heart full of joy over your protection, deliverances, security of my resources, and the strength you have continued giving me to keep standing and keeping the faith. It is indeed your doing, and they are glorious in my sight. Heavenly Father, I come unto you this hour, for in you is my hope and trust, for protection, deliverance, and strength. For if not that you have been on my side, as the psalmist will say, then, they would have swallowed us alive because of their burning anger against us. The waters would have engulfed us. A torrent would have overwhelmed us. Yes, the raging waters of their fury would have overwhelmed our very lives. But, blessed be the Lord, who did not let their teeth tear us apart. We escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken, and we are free. Our help is from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. However, dear Heavenly Father, the enemies are not relenting in their quest for my fall, in their quest for my destruction, in their quest to indict me. They have never ceased in their plots and schemings against me because I have chosen to obey you. I have no helper or any hiding place elsewhere except you. For your name, O Lord, is the strong tower that the righteous can run to for safety. Therefore, dear Lord, I come to you my hiding place, my rock of Gibraltar, my place of defense and security, my impregnable rock. He who watches over Israel, who does not sleep nor slumber, that Israel may sleep. My Lord, my King, my warrior, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Unto you, I have come, for strength and for protection. For in you is confidence. For you have already said it, that no weapons formed against me shall prosper. And that any tongue, that rises up against me in judgment I shall condemn. Therefore Father Lord, in your name, I condemn every lacerating tongue against me. I nullify every enchantment against me. I neutralize every weapon of rage, slander, hate, denial, evil manipulation. And programmings against my soul, spirit, and body. Protect me dear Holy Father, flesh, soul, spirit, and body. 
even as you have promoted to do for me in your word, in Psalms 91 chapter 3 to 16. You said, You will rescue me from every trap, and protect me from the fatal plague. You said, You will shield me with your wings, and you will shelter me with your feathers. Your faithful promises are my armor and protection. I am not afraid of the terrors of the night, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor dread the plague that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand may fall at my side, though ten thousand may be dying around me, these evils will not touch me, but I will see it with my eyes. I will see how the wicked are punished. If I make you the Lord my refuge, if I make you the Most High my shelter, no evil will conquer me. No plague will come near my dwelling. For you will order your angels to protect me wherever I go. They will hold me with their hands to keep me from striking my foot on a stone. I will trample down lions and poisonous snakes. I will crush fierce lions and serpents under my feet. You O Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. I will satisfy them with long life and give them my salvation. Here I am Father, demanding for your implementation of all my rights and privileges, in you by the virtue of my redemption. Bestow on me redemption packages of divine protection, divine strength, divine guidance. Grant me also the strength to keep serving you blamelessly. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in our prayer. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Winning Secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We love you.